Okay, example six, uh, more of the same. Uh, the only difference between this one and the other ones, this is P divided by three halves. The way it's written is not the greatest, but hopefully it'll be very obvious. P is all by itself on top. Three halves is the denominator of this fraction. And we also have an equal to an improper, uh, into a mixed number there. So what I would do first is I would rewrite the problem. If that's in my book, what would go on my paper is P over three halves equals, and then four and one third is equal to 13 over three. So the first thing I would do initially before I do anything else is rewrite it so it's an improper fraction. And again, I would probably put parentheses around that bottom just to really reinforce that that's the entire denominator. What we can see here is P is being divided by a number. If P is, if a letter is being divided by a number, multiplication by the exact same number is the fix. So times 3 halves and divided by 3 halves being opposite operations are going to equal 1. So we get 1P equals. Over on this side, since this is a 3 on top and this is a 3 on the bottom, we can, again, reduce before multiplication. That's legal. As long as we have something on top and something on the bottom, whether they're the same fraction or different fractions, as long as we have a top object and a bottom object that are equal or have an equal factor, that reduction is legal. 13 times the leftover 1 is made 13. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 13 over 2. Once again, an improper fraction, final answer. Let Improper fractions stand as answers. Don't feel obligated to change them to mixed numbers and never ever change them to decimals unless specifically requested to do so.